Today we'll be discussing why it is important to use professional photography when listing your home for sale. Hello, I'm Brian Gubernick here with my business partner, Jason Abrams, and today's blog will be discussing why it's important to use professional photography when listing your home for sale. Before we jump into the uh, topic, though, I'd like to call your attention to two links. Uh, the first one, free home value. If you are considering selling your home, you want to click on this link and have us value your property. We'll tell you uh, if selling your home might be the right decision for you uh, today. If you're a buyer, if you're searching for properties, or you'd like to search for properties, click on the search all homes in your area link below. You have access to every property available on the market. Uh, you can certainly find what it is you're looking for and it will help us start our search on our end. So click that link, check out homes for sale. But all that said, Jason, why is it so important to wow. use professional photography when listing your home for sale? I can't even believe we're having this discussion, it's so man. Silly. And you know what? We've been having this discussion for years because we've insisted that every seller that we represent uses a professional photographer. It's the most basic of principles. Your iPhone just isn't going to cut it. Keep in mind, when you're hiring a real estate agent, you're hiring a professional marketeer. Somebody who's going to put your home in the best light possible. Anyone that thinks a Polaroid is the way to do that has really missed the boat. It's ridiculous. Have you actually ever visited some of these websites that are out? Well, actually, I'm sure the public hasn't seen some of these realtor websites like we get to see. But there are literally websites dedicated to horrible MLS photos, comical photos. Not just like, you know, some, some clothing laying off in the corner of the room, but some things I don't even want to discuss on this video showing up in MLS photos. It's absurd. Right. No, it's, it's ridiculous. The truth of it is the vast majority of people that come into contact with your property will never set foot in your home. That's just the truth of it. And by the way, you wouldn't want them to. The idea isn't to have more showings. The idea is to have more offers, which means how do we get more qualified people who are interested in your property into your house? Not how do we make you go sit in a park all day Sunday so we can walk strangers through it. That's absolutely right. The right photos help us do that. People look at them. They get an idea for it. And by the way, the right photo doesn't mean make your home look better than it is. Because the last thing you want is everyone walking through and feeling let down the second they walk into your house. The perfect photo isn't a lie, and it isn't photoshopped, and it doesn't look idyllic. Idyllic? Well, yeah, I will roll with that. Idyllic. Sounds right. The right photo shows your home in the best light possible while being realistic about what it actually is. It's very true. I mean, the reality is, and I hate to say this, but the truth is this. Our competition uses an iPhone. I mean, it just happens. And why? It's beyond me. But the reality is most of our competition will not spend in a year what we spend in a week marketing. And that's not you know us boasting. It's just that we believe things like professional for, uh, pictures, which cost money, are crucial to you selling the home. The bottom line is a picture, Jason, is worth a thousand buyers. It's phenomenal. <laughs> it's been stewing. This guy. It's been stewing. <laughs> I, I don't even have anything else to say. Yeah, I'll print we'll, it. We'll turn it out right there. That being said, I'm Brian Gubernick, Jason Abrams. Again, take a look at the two, link, uh, two links below if you're a seller or a buyer. But thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.